Not a Joey B scream. <laughs> Wakes up screaming like Joey B. And, and, dude, that scream is iconic, dude. <laughs> I wonder if Benavidez ever like watches it back. Like, fuck, I was already screaming now there. You know? Fuck, that's actually pretty. <laughs> he just watches it back. And then. <laughs> I mean, well, Joe's okay. He it's good screamed to see him. himself away <laughs> after being KO. Dude, that's such an underrated moment, dude. Figueredo's such a fucking beast. <laughs> I mean, well, Joe's okay. He screamed himself awake. That is so savage from Figueredo, though, isn't it? Fuck, that's such an underrated moment in MMA history there. Screaming himself awake. It's never happened. That must have been fucking shocking. <laughs> he's just, like he's woken up from nightmare world. I really enjoyed when Figueredo wouldn't let go of the guillotine on the crack rabbit, Tim Elliott. <laughs> True. And he literally held that intentionally for a bit longer as well. You know he did. I know he apologized afterwards, but dude, he held that for so fucking long after the referee jumped in. You know he intentionally held on to that guillotine. There's no way he didn't hold on to that intentionally. He was fully squeezing it for like an extra three seconds after after it was over. And Elliot actually like held back a punch once the fight was called off. He was gonna punch Figueredo after, but he held it back. Felder, glad to see Benavidez okay. He's waking up. He's okay. Ah, Megan help. He literally screamed for Megan to come and help him from the damage that he was taking. But no one could help him. He was forever in the shadow realm. Dead. He died that night. That's why you haven't seen him since.